a supersized spout in San Francisco. Look at this water surging above the treetops after a water main breaks flooding a nearby park. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Larry Veal. And I'm Kristen Z. The water is off, but work to repair the damage is still underway and could go on for a while. So the main burst around 1030 this morning and next door to a house on Wabona Street, not far from Stern Grove. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn shows us what happened. Wow! Water gushing into the air, surprising neighbors on Wawona Street near Stern Grove and Pine Lake Park. Robin Cookston, who didn't want to appear on camera, described the spectacle. It looked like a giant tower of water, about three stories tall. It was really surprising. And here's what it looked like from Sky 7. The San Francisco Public Utilities Commission explained what happened. Quote, the cause of the break appears to be the failure of an 8-inch valve connected to a 60-inch water transmission line. The scope and schedule for all repairs, including for the hillside into the park, is still being determined. Maxine Shao saw what happened after the deluge of water came down and crews turned off the flow. Well, there's a big pit next to someone's home, so probably there's, uh, they're going to have to shore up the home. Crews taped off parts of the area and were working on putting up fencing. So I want that fence line all the way down here. About three years ago, there was another water main break around here at Sloat and 22nd Avenue. About 700,000 gallons of water flooded Stern Grove Park with mud and water. The geyser from that probably went up about 150 feet. So that brought down a hillside and filled this whole valley with mud. The last Stern Grove Festival concert of that season was canceled. Shao and other neighbors vividly remember that water main break and all the damage done. Many can't believe it happened again. Others say it doesn't come as a surprise. Old infrastructure. Old, old. This is, you know, the old city. We're rebuilding all the sewers and all, all the, the water in infrastructure now. But, you know, this is 100 years old. And <laughs> we're not in the most stable situation. It's, it's sand. They built it under sand. And they built houses on top of it. So uh, it's, not a, it's not unusual that this would happen. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.